welcome back or welcome if you are new. So listen, I picked up the Natasha Denona Yucca Palette. Okay, yes. Yes, I'm supposed to be on a no palette buy. Okay, at this point, I'm on a low palette buy. Okay, because there are certain brands that if they release a palette, if they launch a palette, your girl is going to buy it because I'm a semi-collector semi of certain brands. And Natasha Denona is one of those brands. So I knew I was getting this palette, okay? <laughs> but with that being said, I went ahead and picked up this beautiful Yucca palette. And honestly, I want to just play. I do. I want to just play. I want to swatch. I want to look. I want to just kind of see what's happening with this palette because... It is a beautiful color story. I love it. It's gorgeous. You know, we've all seen it by now, but I really just want to get down and dirty with this palette and see how I feel about it. So this is what we are going to play with today. So before I get started, because I do need to put on some brows and all that good stuff, I want to swatch her. So I want to go ahead and swatch her. I did just receive the new Nomad palette, which let me grab that. So yeah, I did just receive the new Nomad palette. And as you can see, the color stories, <laughs> if I can move my big head over, the color stories are very, very similar. Um, both very gorgeous color stories, but you know, they do have some differences. A lot of similarities, but a lot of differences. Well, not a lot of differences, but some differences as well. So this is not a comparison video, but I do want to go ahead, swatch this, play with it so you can kind of get a feel for it. Also, I did go through my collection and pull quite a few palettes that I feel like have a similar color story. You know, I like to do that for you guys, okay? I buy all the palettes so you guys don't have to. <laughs> and just show you those palettes and, you know, maybe they're similar, maybe they're not. But just to kind of let you see them, jog your memory, you know take a walk through your palettes and see if you already have this color story or something close enough to it. So anyways, let's go ahead and swatch this palette and then I'm gonna do my eyebrows, prep my eyes and we will start to play. And I'm just going to swatch it row by row. So I'm gonna go, you know, top, middle and bottom row. And while I'm swatching, I will go ahead and just kind of put some information about this palette on the screen for you guys, but let's just go ahead and swatch. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm gonna double swatch that just to see if it gets any darker. shimmers are gorgeous. After I swatch the whole palette, I would turn my lights down just so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so that is row one. I'm gonna double swatch that one. shimmers this one is very close to my skin tone so that's why you can't really see it I'm getting a vibe of like some very similar shades in here you know even the shimmers so far very pretty but looking kind of similar the mats as well. So that's row two. That's the second row. Now we're going into the last row. So this is the dark brown. It's kind of like a mossy green brown. Hmm. It's kind of like a, I don't know, a little bit of a yellowy orangey shade. This shimmer looks gorgeous. Ooh, that is pretty. <laughs> I'm all up on my elbow. Okay, so this is a very pretty, like, orangey matte. And then the last shade here. 
<laughs> which I will swatch on my elbow, is this super dark, beautiful, like, I don't know, it's like a bluey green. So this is the whole palette swatched, you guys. Very pretty. It looks like there are, like I said, quite a few similar tones in these shades, the mattes as well as the shimmers, but there are a few standouts. This beautiful dark blue green, this gorgeous green tone shimmer, um, these lighter shades of green, this one really, really nice inner corner pop. And I like the kind of grunginess of this mossy color here. So let's go ahead and prep our eyes and see what we can come up with. Okay, you guys. So my eyelids are prepped with some P. Louise base. I'm going to start out with this shade right here called Valley. It's just this light, tanny brown shade. And I'm just going to use that as my transition in my crease. Now with Natasha Denona shadows, I feel like... They apply darker than they look in the pan, so I'm just going to see if that's the case with this shade. So yeah, this shade is like a perfect transition shade for me. You can see it's like super close to my skin tone, which is a hint of greenness to it. So I'm just using that to... Um, be a blending shade in my crease for whatever else I decide to do with this palette because child I have no idea you guys know how I do I just start putting eyeshadow on my lids and see what happens so it's applying nicely blending smoothly and I'm really loving this color on my lid okay you guys so I decided I wanted to do like a halo eye today so um I'm gonna go into this super dark green shade here and get my halo going so i'm just taking a more pointed fluffy brush and just tapping that in the corners of my eye inner and outer just to kind of see what the pigmentation is going to be like and if it's going to blend nicely Okay, very nice. I mean, with Natasha Denona shadows, I don't expect anything differently. That's kind of why, you know, I never really hem and ha over whether or not I'm going to purchase a Natasha Denona palette because her quality is just, for the most part, always outstanding, easy to use, easy to blend easy to apply so and i'm really liking these uh color stories that she's coming out with you know it's like she's i feel like trying to you know uh keep interest in the palettes and with the brand and it's working it is working <laughs> clearly so yeah, this color is very pretty. I'm really, really liking that. Okay, you guys, so I have both of those eyes set up for my halo eye. Um, I did go back in with that first shade, what was left on the brush, and I'm just kind of like blending, you know, that dark green shade into my crease. So it's not harsh in any way, just getting a nice blend for those two colors. Okay, so the shimmers. Now, the shimmers are very pretty. Like I said, um, some of them were looking very similar. So I'm just going to kinda put some of them on my fingers. Yeah, you see these two are like mad similar. Mm, what are we thinking? I like this on my pinky. The one on my pinky is, y'all know I can't see. It looks like Makia. I don't know, but it's this one right here very very pretty so i think that is what i'm going to put in the center of my lid very pretty is this pinky shade here and i'm just going to do a little finger action if you will i'm 
right in the center. Ooh, pretty. Very, very pretty. And just doing this eye look, I see, you know, I've definitely created this eye look before with um, other palettes. It's not anything like unique or extremely creative, but I happen to love green eyeshadow and I do love a good halo eye. <laughs> so this is where we are today. But these shadows are just phenomenal. It's just the colors are not anything extremely unique, but if you like green and you like earth tones and these colors really work well on your eyes and look nice with your eye color and skin tone, then, whew, yeah, it's really pretty. <laughs> it's really pretty. So let me just go ahead and finish this up. And I'm gonna do some eyeliner and lashes and I think I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face and then we'll come back and do the lower lash line and all that good stuff. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. I have completed the rest of my complexion. Um, just in case you're curious for my face today, I did go in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer for foundation. I'm using the CoverGirl Outlast 24 Hour. Love this foundation, okay. Um, I also, went in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal. Haven't used this in <laughs> forever, like literally probably years and years and years. And I actually am pleased with what it did today. For powder, I went in with my Fit Me Maybelline Pressed Powder. I have the shade 355, which is coconut. For my blush today, I have my Amuse Cosmetics blush. I believe I got this from Shop Miss A, but this color is really, really pretty. For my bronzer, I went in with my Minted ABF Collab Bronzer. This is in the shade Season 2. So it's a bronzer that is like double-sided. It has a little bit of shimmer on this side and beautiful bronze on the other. And I must say, it's definitely bronzed me up today. For highlight, I used my Sephora Golden Hour. This is like a liquid illuminator. So I did go ahead and use that on top of the powder, which it worked out nicely. I'm sorry about all the background noises, you guys. I'm trying to go fast. There's literally a team of gardeners cutting down trees next door. And clearly, Amazon wants to let me know I have a package every five minutes. So... <laughs> Sorry about that. For my lips, I went in with my Sephora lip liner in Molasses, which is actually like my absolute favorite lip liner. And then for my lips, I went in with this Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink. This is new to my collection and I love these, you guys. They are so comfortable. I'm using the shade 100 Charmed. Man, they are so comfortable. I really love them. This is the shade that I have on my lips today, kind of like a pinky peachy shade but anyway I want to continue on with this eye look so for the lower lash line I did pull three different eyeliners because I want something kind of bright you know to kind of give me an additional pop with that halo that I have going on I think I'm going to go ahead and go with this first one here with this which is one of my LA girl liners one of their pastel dreams. So yeah, we'll go ahead and go in with this. I wanna make sure I get it nice and bright so you can see it. <laughs> okay, you can see that nice and bright. Now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go back in with that super dark green out of the palette, this one here, and just smoke out my lower lash line. Oh, I really like the way that that bright eyeliner is just kind of bringing this look together. So pretty. So far, I have used, what, three colors from this palette and it is performing immaculately. So I want to use one more color. You guys know me. Um, this super bright, super duper bright green shade right here. I'm going to try to just tap a little bit of that in my inner corner. I am one who 
likes a matte bright inner corner occasionally so yeah we're going to try tap that in the inner corner and see how it looks and hopefully we won't have too much fallout since it is a matte shade but i just want to brighten that inner corner a little bit and i'm not in the mood for a shimmer yeah it's working <laughs> it's working i love it nice little bright pop easy breezy just tap that right there and i'm going in probably about two to three times just to build it up nicely so it'll stay throughout the day yes i'm feeling it i'm feeling it i feel like i need to be in a photo shoot with this fan blowing my hair right now <laughs> Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce. I'm feeling it. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit of this mascara. This is not really my favorite. Maybelline, the Falsies Lash Lift. Okay, I need to just go ahead and crack open my Thrive Cosmetics mascara because I keep trying these mascaras looking for a miracle mascara and none of them are doing the trick for me. You know, they're all just kind of like, eh, you know, won't be buying that again. So, and that's kind of how I feel about this one too. It's just, none of them are knocking my socks off. So, I think I'm going to crack open my Thrive and just call it a day. <laughs> okay, you guys. So, this is the final look that I did with this Yucca palette. Very easy, very simple. As you guys saw, I used, what, four shades out of the palette. Absolutely love this look. My first impression on this new Natasha Denona Yucca palette is it is a gorgeous palette. Creates beautiful eye look. In the swatches, as you saw, I do feel like there are a lot of similar tones throughout this palette with the shades, um, with the shimmers as well as with the mattes. But they're beautiful nonetheless. They performed beautifully. <laughs> Very easy for me to create this eye look and I absolutely love it. So that's just my first impressions on this palette. Like I said in the very beginning of the video, I do want to just kind of run through some palettes that I have in my collection that I feel like are similar to this color story. We're not talking dupes, you guys. We're talking just similar some that maybe you can get similar eye looks from that have a similar vibe and tone to them. So I do that to help you guys, you know, I buy all the palettes so that you guys don't have to. <laughs> and I really love sharing my different palettes with you guys for that very reason. Cause I know for me, a lot of times I forget how many palettes I have that are like the same tone, same color story. And after I received that Nomad palette that just came out, I was kind of like, mm, I really don't need to buy this. But like I said, for some brands, I am a, somewhat of a collector. And so it's just, I'm going to buy it. Okay. So anyways, this palette is absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful, you guys. Let me go ahead and just kind of quickly show you some other palettes that you might already have that are similar in my opinion to this color story. Now, the first one is this Wild Python from Huda Beauty. Not an exact dupe, like I said. We're just kind of looking for similar colors in the palette. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll hold them up side by side. So as you can see, a few similar shades in here. This has that beautiful bright pop of green in here. It kind of leans a little bit blue, but it does have some earthy tones in it as well. So very, very, you know, similar with the feel and the vibe. Now the next palette I have is this Sigma Ivy eyeshadow palette. I actually haven't used this yet. I fell in love with this color story when I saw it and I was like, ooh, I really, really like that. But I love green eyeshadow. So it's like not an exact dupe, but you know, kind of close. This one doesn't have like the warmer tones that this one does, but very, very close. Now these next two palettes, not dupes for sure, but definitely the same type of vibes with the earthy greens. This one is the Star Wars Mandalorian from ColourPop. Absolutely gorgeous. And this one is the Sage the Day from ColourPop. So 
very very pretty once again it doesn't go as deep and dark like that one dark green shade in the natasha denona but very similar color stories next i have this violet voss i love you forever <laughs> This color story, it has like, you know, those green hints in there. I'll hold this one up again. Has those green hints in there. This one goes a little bit deeper, I think, with the browns. And there's a black in here as well. Quality-wise, the Natasha Denona knocks this out of the park. But if you're looking for a palette that you already have in your collection that has maybe some of the same vibes and feels, this one does not have the super bright greens though. So that's where it's lacking for me, okay? But still an earthy green palette. Now this palette here, which is from Menagerie, this is the Killer Purr. This one, of course, goes a little bit brighter, a little bit brighter for sure, which I absolutely love. The blues in there, gorgeous, but to me, still giving the same type of vibe, okay? If you already have this palette, Mm, you know, you know, it's really pretty. Look at those blues, you guys. Ah, so gorgeous. Next, we have the Dirty Martini from Glam Light. I know some of you guys have this palette. This one, very, very heavy on the greens, a little bit brighter, as you can see. You know, it does kind of pull the same way as this one, but this one is way more green. Way more green, a little bit bluey, more bluey, if that's a word. <laughs> But, um, you know, same type of vibes a little bit, you know, got some gorgeous, amazing shimmers in here that we always get from Glam Light. Super beautiful, but, you know, still a green tone palette. Next, I have this Colored Rain, Safari Rain. Ah! I've created some of my absolute favorite eye looks with this palette, okay? Absolute favorites, as you can see, definitely the same type of vibe same type of color story okay you're getting the same groove from this um colored rain palette so yeah and i absolutely love this palette it's gorgeous next we have the nomad by juvia's now this one oh my goodness i knew when i opened it i was gonna feel some type of way okay because i love the color story in this palette look at how close these two are really you know it doesn't have the super bright green in here but if that's not really your vibe anyway you know it does give like the same type of feels this one that dark green pulls a little blue in my opinion this one does not but if you're looking for an earthy green palette in your collection and you got this girl pull it out because the eye looks are banging with this palette Sticking with Juvia's Place, I have here the Tribe. <laughs> you know, listen, this was like a really knockout standout palette from Juvia's Place. As you can see, this one, the green does lean a little bit more blue like this one in here. Still gives you those beautiful earthy tones with the orange shades and, you know, that kind of pukey brown in there. And it does have the beautiful bright pops of green so it's like yeah have we seen this color story before yes we have because we know this juvia's has been out for quite some time now this one here is a palette that i really really loved using from bh cosmetics this is the avocado toast haven't used it in a long time honestly i kind of forgot about it just <laughs> being honest um but yeah look at the colors in here you guys look at the color story look at the tones look at the vibe i think we're kind of seeing like the same type you know feels from this bh cosmetics avocado toast quality wise natasha knocks this out the park <laughs> but if you already have this palette take it out play with it you know love on it okay because it's basically a very similar color story now this palette is new to my collection i actually haven't used it yet so i'm really really interested in what she'll do this is the laura lee whimsical nudes okay and i actually pulled this for my shop my stash because i'm like i'm dying to get into that green it has a black in here i'm really curious about the color story and 
the quality of Laura Lee shadows because I've never used one of her palettes before. Now, this palette, of course, it only has, what, 10 shades. This one has, what, 15? <laughs> but it still has the same type of vibe, same type of feels. This one only has like what one brown in there, but it has a black, you know, and I love a, a black and a palette. So yeah, I would say same type of feels. This one doesn't get, you know, give you that blue leaning green or the super bright pops of green, but you know, they are similar. Now this palette here from Uma Beauty, okay, I believe I used this palette once, maybe twice. Ulma Beauty does not have my favorite formula, just keeping it a buck, okay? This is the Allure palette. Look at that. That's gorgeous. But yeah, they don't have my absolute favorite formula, so I don't really typically gravitate to Ulma Beauty's eyeshadows. Maybe I need to try them again. Don't know, but it's not my favorite formula. But in looking at this palette, it definitely kind of made me feel like, okay, some of the same vibes, a little bit of the same feels, not exactly. This one has a couple of like, you know, pinky tones to go with that deep dark purple shade down there, but it's still a green kind of earthy toned palette, you know, just kind of showing this just in case you have this in your collection. Now this one here is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> gorgeous okay this is the Michaela part two from glam light I love saying that part two and you know listen of course this palette goes a little brighter goes a little more aggressive you know the shimmers are beautiful but similar vibes I mean hello very similar vibes but this palette this will create a banging eye look okay it's <laughs> chef's kiss now this one here I have not used yet. This is the Urban Decay Wild Greens. My girl Lily actually bought this for me. And cute little packaging. I don't know, I'm just never really drawn to Urban Decay shadows. I don't know, maybe they're just not aggressive enough for me. I just, I don't know. But this palette just is very blase blase. But I feel like the background kind of, you know, takes away from the shades a little bit. I'm talking too much, y'all. I do not want this video to be three days long. Let me open this, okay. So out of these two color stories, I definitely am more drawn to the Natasha Denona because, you know, I don't know, I'm just more drawn to it. This is very, very muted to me, but it's honestly a very similar color story, just on a much more muted level, I think. You know, it has like super light green, earthy mossy colors in here a couple of beautiful shimmers and some earthy tones but yeah the Natasha Denona I feel like is way more appealing to me than the Urban Decay but you know I am curious I do need to use this because I am curious about the quality on this one next Ace Beauté Tropical Vibes I love me a good Ace Beauté palette okay because Ace Beauté be having the color stories okay I don't know. I might tell you to just go ahead and hold up on the Natasha. Da, 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 okay? Because this palette is so beautiful. It has the beautiful pops, bright pops in there. You know, it has that blue. It still has the earthy, warm greens. It's just, mm, it's sexy. I mean, this Natasha Denona is sexy, but the Ace Beauté is real sexy, okay? Okay, now listen. Nomad just came out with this palette. Okay, I can't even, is it the, um, child, the Okavango, Okavango, Okavango Safari, okay? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. They sent this to me. I am on a, their PR list, so they do send me their palettes. Thank you, Nomad, because <laughs> I've been loving them, okay? Their last few palettes have just been remarkable. Their last palette, the one with the multi-chromes and all that good stuff in there. <laughs> Literally my favorite palette right now, okay? But anyways, this is the new one, the Okavango Safari. <sighs> gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And I'm sure if you have this or if you've seen it, you you it's crossed your mind. You've been like, 
listen, was Natasha Denona eavesdropping on Nomad or was Nomad eavesdropping on Natasha Denona? Because they are very, very similar. Very beautiful color stories in both of these. I see slight differences, you know, in some of the shades. There's some things that I like more about the Nomad, some things I like more about the Natasha Denona, but they're absolutely gorgeous. Very similar. I don't think you need both. Definitely don't. Don't, don't be like me, okay? <laughs> Don't be like me. Just, you know, just get what you need, child. Get what you need. Okay, now this one here, this Make and Bank. I've had this for a long time from Morphe. Never used it. Um, I saw a few people use it and they really, really loved it. It was really, really filling the palette. I just haven't gotten around to using mine yet, okay? But looking at this pal these palettes, very, very similar vibe, similar feel. There's a couple of shades in the Natasha Denona that are not in the Morphe and vice versa, but I feel like they are very similar. They really are. It's like that one blue green and the, you know, the dark one in the Natasha Denona. It's in here. You can see it right there. Um, and so, yeah, I feel like they're very similar. Now, will they create a similar eye look? I don't know because I ain't used this yet, but just looking at the shades, you know, they are, they're similar. Next. Mm! This palette makes me feel some type of way, some type of way, okay? This is the Clarity Cosmetics Croc Palette. Child, when I saw this palette, when I saw it teased, when I saw it launched, all of that, it was like, oh, you're going to be mine. You are going to be mine. And one of my absolute favorite eye looks I have created with this palette, okay? If you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram because that's where I post pretty much all of my makeup looks on Instagram. Colorful Camille, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I can't. Let's, let me hurry up because I could sit here and just look at this palette and drool all day. But do you see the similarities? Do you see, you know, how it's given like the same type of vibe? The Croc palette goes very, very cool. Very cool, very gray toned green. But the shimmers, ugh, don't play with it, don't play with it, okay? They are gorgeous. Now this next palette I haven't used. It's been in my collection for a long time. And when I saw this palette, I was like, oh, I gotta have it just because I love green. But this is one of the Cara Duo palettes. Which one is this? This one is Time Traveler, okay? They have so many different palettes, um, color stories and things like that. Now their formula, it's, it's all right. It's all right. It's, it's not my favorite, okay? It's all right. And I feel like for the price, it could be a little better because unless you buy their palettes like at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, uh, Ross, stuff like that, I feel like on the website, unless you get a good sale, they're a little bit overpriced for the quality. But they okay. They're not bad. They okay, okay? But looking at these palettes, do you see the similarity? Do you see the vibe I'm talking about? Yeah very similar vibes okay so what we doing now this next palette is a smaller palette i actually forgot i had it in my collection this is bad side zodiac earth from melt cosmetics you know when they came out with all the different zodiac palettes this is the earth palette and it's giving me a nice little earthy vibe okay it has you know the beautiful green has some earthy tones. This one kind of pulls a little more gold, I think. There's a little bit of, you know, gold feel in here. But this one pulls a little more gold, has a little, you know, pop of like purplish burgundy in there. But, you know, mm, it's very small. It's only eight shades, so it can only be so similar. But the shades that are in here kind of gives me a little bit of the same vibes, okay? And then lastly, I just pulled this tray. I have um, a bunch of the smaller ColourPop palettes um, in different, what is it, like color stories? I have like purples, greens, blues, pinks, peaches, neutrals, just a whole lot of unnecessary small palettes, but I have them, okay? <laughs> so I just pulled these out of my green drawer just kind of, you know, to show and give you a vibe of some of the ColourPop palettes that I have in the smaller ones. These are like the ones that come in the pretty little plastic 
hard plastic containers. Just how it's like, you know, you got some of those similar vibes in your ColourPop palettes. And as you can see here, I definitely do with the earthy, woodsy one up here. I have the blue greenish one down there and then those small quads giving me basically all the other shades. Now the quality of ColourPop is not the same as Natasha Denona. We're not about to play that. We're not going to play that. But some people have more of a ColourPop budget than a Natasha Denona budget. And honey, you can create some beautiful eye looks with ColourPop shades. Okay, so I just wanted to pull these just to kind of show if you have these. Mix and match, girl. Make your own little Natasha Denona palette. Okay, make your own. Okay, you guys, so that is it. That is it. That is all for this Natasha Denona yucca palette. Okay, she's a beauty. But listen, I hope you guys enjoyed this little stroll down green earthy palette lane. I did. I always love doing it because I love to know what I have in my collection. Even though I keep buying the same thing over and over again, like I said, don't be like me. I'm here to help you. Okay, I'm here to help you. So that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out, checking out my video. Don't forget to hit like, comment, because you know we be getting chit-chatting down in the comment section. If there's some other palettes that you guys are aware of that I don't have in my collection, or maybe I do and I just overlooked it, make sure you put them down in the, in the comment section because I know a lot of people, you know, look for dupes. Everybody's not trying to buy all these palettes out here, so... I hope you like this eye look. I really do. I love green, okay? But yeah, leave me a comment. Hit like if you're not subscribed. Come on now. Help your girl out. Go ahead and subscribe. And that's it, you guys. I'm about to go about my day. And I will see you on the next one. Toodles.